Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I will show you how to deploy Cloudflare workers in a couple of minutes. Now, this is a tutorial for tech savvy people, people that understand technology a lot more and that they are savvy in programming as well uh, because programming uh, will allow you to deploy Cloudflare workers and get your website speed much, much faster. So uh, we will go through this guide right here from the top, as you can see, to installing the Wrangler and deploying the workers uh, later on and publishing our project. So as you can see, first of all, we need to install Wrangler. Uh, by the way, if you want to uh, you know, have this, it will be down in the description so you can check it out. Uh, but this is basically on Cloudflare's, uh, you know, on Cloudflare's um, you know, blog. Now, as you can see, first we need to install Wrangler. Now, this is how it will look like right here. This is Wrangler. You just need to go down below until you can see the install button or you can just go here uh, and go to the file, right? <clears throat> and then as you can see here, you will be able to go and uh, basically download the file. Now, once you download the file and install Wrangler, ensure you have NPM installed as well. You can check it out right here as well. Uh, you know, this is NPM, right? And then uh, preferably using a node version manager like Volta or NWM. Uh, using a version manager helps avoid permission issues and allows you to easily change Node.js versions. Then once you install Wrangler, you will need to run this code or you can install it with Yarn, which is right here, right here as you can see. Now we need to authenticate Wrangler, right? To authenticate Wrangler, you need to run Wrangler login. So run Wrangler login right here. You'll be redirected to a web page asking you to log in into our Cloudflare dashboard. Make sure you do that after you have logged in, you will be asked if Wrangler can make changes to your Cloudflare account. Scroll down and select allow to continue. Then you will start a new project with the Wrangler. You're already ready to create a your worker project and deploy your workers. So you can run Wrangler in it followed by your project name. So this is how it will look like. Your worker, again, it's your name for your worker, right? Now in the terminal, you will be asked for a series of questions related to your project. You can uh, here, as you can see, Wrangler in it will prompt you to choose yes or no to would you like to use TypeScript, yes or no. If you indicate yes, you will get an index.ts file instead of index.js file. And Wrangler will also generate a uh, TS config JSON file. So uh, this is in the root of your project, obviously. So you can also use one of Cloudflare's templates to start a new project. If you go here, we can see that this is one of the templates here. You can see if you're tech savvy, you will understand what I'm talking about. But um, yeah, after you created your new worker, uh, CD into your new project directory. So make sure you put this right with your worker name. And then you just have to follow uh, these these steps right here in your project directory, Wrangler init has generated new the following files, wrangler.toml, your Wrangler configuration file, this file right here, this file as well, and this file as well. Now we need to run your development server. So after you created your first worker, run the Wrangler dot or slash dev command, which is right here. Uh, actually, it's without slash, sorry. Uh, you can copy this right here from the blog on the Cloudflare and then you need to write a code. With your new project generated, you can begin to write your code. After running Wrangler init command to generate your worker, uh, the index.js file will be populated with the code below right here as you can see. This code block consists of four parts. Uh, obviously, you don't need to know all these parts, uh, but then you will need to have a write test. We recommend writing tests against your worker one way to do it is with unstable development API in Wrangler. So this is how it will look like right here, as you can see. Obviously, all of these will be in the description so you can check it out. Uh, and as you can see, this code also consists of four parts. We'll not go too deep in, into this, but you will see which part is for what, right? And then you publish your project. With your project configured, you can now publish your worker. You can publish your worker to a custom domain or if not figured, uh, configured, the worker will publish to a workers.dev subdomain by default. To set up a workers.dev subdomain, go to the Cloudflare dashboard, workers and your subdomain. This is how it will look like. If we go here, if we click on the domain, if we go to workers where they are, let's go see uh, workers, worker routes here, 
manage workers and then here you will need to set up your subdomain right um, and that's pretty much it you can preview your worker at um, you know this and obviously you publish to workers dev with this right here and that's pretty much it right um, obviously this is all uh, really really simple in you know on this uh, you know in this video but you will actually need to rewatch this video a couple of times until you understand uh, especially if you're not tech savvy so I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you find it valuable if you did leave a like down below and we'll see you in the next video thank you guys for watching